representing the three major parties. At the Australian Islamic College in Perth South East, one of Labor's four Indigenous WA candidates, Tammy Solonek, is making friends. But the human rights lawyer isn't shy about possibly alienating people either. She wants to change the date of Australia Day. Aboriginal people have been protesting against it since the 1880s and every year it brings up enormous emotion for Aboriginal people and it's divisive for the whole community. The mother of two says Wattle Day on September 1 should be the new day, a nation unified around its national flower. The former Greens candidate says she's contesting the Perth seat of Swan for Labor because she feels the party can make a difference. Western Australian Aboriginal people face human rights issues that are, are very severe and we need representation. Also on the Labor campaign trail is Carol Martin, WA's first female Indigenous politician in the state parliament. Further south is Barry Winmar for Canning and Father of Reconciliation Pat Dodson in the Senate. Mr Dodson says more Indigenous politicians will help reconciliation. A greater respect for the dignity of Indigenous peoples will flow, but also a greater enhancement to the, to the nation in, in appreciation of the richness of Indigenous heritage and, and culture. He says it isn't Australia Day that should change, but people's hearts and minds. I think as a nation we've got to find common ground around this and, and work out how we can celebrate as a, as a unique group of people who are the Australian people. Australia's first Indigenous Federal Minister, Ken Wyatt, agrees that dates like Australia Day should remain. They are part of the character of this nation and you don't, you don't tear down the character of a nation to suit any individual group. This is an issue on which there is a wide range of views, but my own view is that we should uh, recognise our first Australians in our constitution, and that is, I might say, the view of the government. Mr Wyatt says it's inspiring to see so many West Australian Indigenous candidates, and there are more in the wings. The confidence is building, and I think we will see more and more in the future, and I think we will see more Indigenous people within parties on merit and capability within the Australian Parliament. Joining Mr Wyatt on the Conservative side is Nationals candidate Cato Muir. The anti-Uranium protester and former Greens candidate is top of the party Senate ticket. I think it's healthy for Australia and it's a great uh, point of history because of the number of candidates. We've never had this number before. And perhaps in eight weeks, this record number of candidates will become a record number of Indigenous federal members of Parliament. Ryan Emery, SBS.